Welcome to another episode of 600 Seconds brought to you by Seagate. Uh, we're not in the Hex quarters today, but we certainly appreciate them. Huge shout out to them. Rick, I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions. You don't have to answer them all quickly just because you're on a timer. Okay, we're going to start with the most simple one. What is the first application that you open in the morning? Wait, um, Gmail. Gmail? Uh, emails? You go to email? I go to email. Twitter's my thing. I go straight to Twitter. Twitter. What's your second? Twitter. What's your favorite social media outlet? Um, Twitter. Yeah. Um, but you do have all his information is down below, guys. So so make sure Rick, to Rick Fox at Twitter at, at, at Rick Fox on Twitter and at I M R I C K A F O X at Instagram. I'm Rick I, Fox. I, I, I used to be an Instagrammer and esports just dominates my life, so I don't I don't have time to really take do a picture as much photo. Yeah, I, I have a weird relationship oh, so, with yeah. Instagram myself. I don't know I, I don't know what it is. Hey, look, man! If it feels right, you do it right. Yeah. It just, uh, I feel like esports is a Twitter is is so esports centric, and I just communicate to people through Twitter. Yeah, you know what's crazy is that if I I have a weird I mean when I say that I have a weird relationship with Instagram because if I treated it the way that I treat anything else, I would upload a photo every single day, and I could. There's nothing to it but to click, yeah, yeah. type a cap, and then and then send it. Yeah. So that to me has always been like super, super weird. Um, what it, in in all your years of, of of basketball? What is the one moment that you remember as clear as day? The best one, and then we'll go to the worst one. Uh, at Kobe's alley oop to Shaq um, in two thousand. Yeah, Portland series, Western Conference Finals. It was just nasty. Brought down the house, gave us the lead, and I think I looked up three years later, we were three time NBA champions. That's it insane. Was, it was the moment. Like I get how, how many right how, now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, that's that. The one moment. Th- there is no better job, in my opinion, than to be to be a uh, uh, than to be an athlete. Because mm-hmm. to be an athlete, you're you're doing what you love to do as your job, and then you get the love of the people because you yeah, do your, when you well do your put. job well. It's well put. I I I always said that that's the one thing that it can only that that's the one thing that can beat the job that I do now. The funny thing is when you do it poorly, which a couple of years in Boston we did it pretty poorly. Mm-hmm. You go out and you get the hate of the fans. Do you uh, really? Oh yeah, I got see these. I got I had five stitches right here from a fan. Yeah, I got a mug thrown and split in my face open right did here. Did they put money on the line? What and happened to that asshole? Thrown at me, split right here another time. Boston's no. a tough city when you're not. A hundred percent. It's a tough city when you're not winning. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. that's that's insane. Yeah. What's the worst moment in, in your NBA career? Um, that that, that my, wasn't losing. The, 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 that wasn't losing. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. I know, because that would have been really uh, easy. I, like I was gonna say, a lot of it is uh, associated with probably uh, we lost. I can't. I was gonna say we're sitting in the showers in Detroit Auburn Palace, um, ending my career, um, losing to the Detroit Pistons in two thousand and four. But you said not losing, so I guess the worst moment oh probably um being renounced by the boston celtics by rick Pitino, yeah who, who two days earlier agreed to a 33 million dollar contract with me and then renounced me two days later we <laughs> reneged the deal no yeah it was crazy uh out of all of the acting roles that you have uh embodied which one do you like the most Ooh, ooh, he he stretched uh, no, out for like, this. Oh wow! I got, I he became kinda, I, he got, became an act like he uh, became that person yeah, right there. He's like, wait, I'm like, okay, hold on, let me feel it, right? Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm probably most proud of Jackson Vahu, mm-hmm. which was Ahas. Mm-hmm. Um, hit show on HBO back in geez, the nineties. Yeah, um, and then Chick Deegan. Dude, from he, from he got game. Yeah. Um it's probably a second. I get a lot of um a lot of recognition for a character I played in One Tree Hill. Mm-hmm. Played a villain. I always get I get celebrated for the villains mm-hmm. I play. And and then anything comedy related that I do, um people like laughing at me. Yeah. So but those those early ones are ones I think I would say cuz they kind of jump started my career. Mm-hmm. And uh, the ones that probably I'm known for the most. All right. Now, you said that you can't touch your shoulders. Why is that? Just- Years of basketball, diving on the floor for loose balls, you know, thousands, thousands of, yeah. of this action. Yeah. And then, and then I hitting people. Yeah. It's like a boxer, right? If, if a boxer boxes for 20 yeah. years, their hands are going to have be arthritic and stuff. What do you think is going to happen to to professional League of Legends players in a oh, couple of years? Oh, they'll have their hand. I think they'll, you'll see. You know, I think just 
Because we're not there yet. We haven't seen the effects. No, we haven't seen the effects, but I think just in terms of the wear and tear, you mm-hmm. know, the wear and tear, anything. Like I had neck stuff, brachial plexus stuff, in my hands, you can see some of my fingers. Or the bl- yeah, they're like, they have a thickness yeah, in the joints. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it from cracking them or is it just... No, ball, you know, just look at this thumb. This thumb does shit. Dude. I don't know what it's doing. Look at this. This thumb was at, up here. Oh, yeah, look yeah, at this. Look uh, at yeah. this. this uh, yeah. A rebound. Yeah. Ah, yeah. So, you know. A rebound. It popped out. Yeah. So, you know, the hands are just... These are my tools, man. It's no different than a game, all right? This is how I, this is how I express myself in the game. Okay. Um, what is... Uh, and, and you know what's crazy? Uh, uh, on that note, before, before we go, uh, we haven't seen the effects of fighters losing weight or making weight that quick. So we haven't seen what that does to a body because of what they put themselves through with like not eating, not drinking, and just yeah. like dropping 10 to 15 in a span of 24 hours and that's then gaining crazy. it all back to fight, we, that's, that's, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be interesting to me. I wish they'd tell me how to do that. Like, yeah. Otherwise, Same. You know, well, Sundance, Sundance has the fire right now. Really? Sundance lost like 40-something pounds, I think. I, I, if in I, what if, kind of time? Uh, like... A month? What? Yeah, that's impressive. You should talk, bro. I, I, he, I told him to send me his diet. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, he didn't eat. <laughs> I'm, that's I'm, a, I'm like, serious. Yeah, that, that I, sounds. I, I did the podcast with him uh, one day, and then I saw him four weeks later, and he was a completely different person. Like, I didn't recognize him walking towards me, like almost like a fast, huh? He uh, fast. He hadn't eaten since July fourth, and in Miami is when I saw him. And, wow. and he had not eaten anything, just uh, just drink, just water, electrolytes, and whatever to to keep. Yeah, that. keep. Yeah, yeah. And he said the doctor says your blood levels are twenty nine year olds blood levels. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't Real think stuff, I, I don't think man. I have the discipline to do something. I've like done. That. I've not eaten for the longest I've gone without eating is two weeks, five hours, huh? Two weeks. Oh, two weeks. I did weeks? a cleanse once. Girlfriend of mine, um, Eliza Dushku. She did this. She found this. Eliza? Health, uh, yeah. Found this health doctor. Yeah. And he was just, you know, cleanse your liver and cleanse your kidneys and yeah. cleanse all this stuff. And I did it with her when I, to, before I turned 40. And man, I'm telling you, it was two weeks of not eating. And and then you got a salad. All you could eat was a salad yeah. for the next week. Yeah. Because you so have to for, turn so, it back on. Yeah. The furnace. Yeah. You got you to gotta slowly turn the engine back on. And so, literally, over the course of the month, you eat very little food. And so I've gone a month and I lost a shitload of weight. I look I look completely different, similar to what he's yeah. Sundance is doing, but I don't know, man. It's just hard to do a whole month. Yeah. What's Impressive. your favorite food to eat? Um uh, anything carb related, pizza, uh, pastas. Yeah. You know, my mom's Italian, so yeah. anything I'm on an all carb diet right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I'm good for that too. Yeah. <laughs> I should I almost said I almost just said sugar. Yeah. <laughs> sugar. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, if you weren't a basketball player, what do you think that your career would have been? And and or an actor or Okay. If I wasn't at basketball or, or an actor. Or an actor. Lawyer with the amount of contracts that my you're dad looking at now? My dad fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel like my a lawyer dad. now? Like I, I, I know what to look for in I didn't I did not know it was possible. Yeah. For there to be so many different types of documents. Yeah. And lawyer legal papers yeah. and this and that. And then the, the small prince of motherfucker. Boy, they get you. They can get you. Like you said, technicalities. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. They will bury and hide shit in contracts. Uh anyway, um, what would I be? My dad wanted me to be a lawyer. I'd probably um I'd, I'd probably be something outdoors and 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 uh, physical, um, I don't like know, lumberjack, like a, like a ranger, or, oh, or okay. like you know, like someone that did, did tours up in the yeah, like just something outdoors and yeah. anything outdoor related, like a tour guide of some sort, yeah, something you know, like and would, would you know doing anything where I was interacting with people and taking them on like adventures, yeah. hell yeah, like bear grills, yeah, 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 like bear grills, yeah, there you go, yeah. All right, last question: If you can turn any animal in the animal kingdom into a thirteen-inch pet, what would it be? Ooh. Fully grown, fully grown into a thirteen-inch thirteen-inch pet. pet. Probably my very own. Oh shit! It's got to live on land, huh? Yeah, it, it, it past and present. Oh, it doesn't. I mean, no. I, I said that I would want to get a, a a great white in an aquarium. That's what I said. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. that's why I went fish because I grew up on an island. Um, probably a, probably a leopard. Yeah, bro. A, a leopard, leopard this big can clear yeah. easily. Probably a leopard. 
um, or <laughs> yeah. I don't even, I, no I, one can ever pick just one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> just because like, yeah, yeah, it's like I want a whole stable of them now, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably a leopard. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, Appreciate uh, you, man. Thank you so much. Love it.